Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Alan from Blue Street Exotics here with another episode going over some questions that people on Instagram had for us. So I'm just going to go over some of those questions, one topic in specific that I'm going to go over. But before I go into that, make sure that you guys follow us on Instagram, YouTube, uh, TikTok, and all the other socials that we have. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe on these videos. That definitely helps us. You guys know that. But yeah, the first question that we got was uh, somebody asked us, what happens to the cars that are in our retired section? Are they for sale? Now, as we had went over in another video, all the cars that we have, even if it's not that exact car, like to say the S580 or the M850 or even the Lamborghini Huracan or Lamborghini Urus, when we purchase rental cars, we try to market those specific cars and obviously rent those specific cars. But if ever needed and you wanted to buy that car or something very, very similar, we do have access for you to go and purchase those cars also. But the retired cars are a little bit different. A lot of retired cars were retired by force. And by force, I'm meaning accidents or stuff along those lines. At the end of the day, we are in the exotic rental car space, luxury rental car space. And with this business comes a lot of accidents. You know, in the last couple of years, we lost a couple of Huracans. We lost a couple of Urus, We lost a couple of Mercedes. We lost a couple of BMWs. We lost everything across the board. Keeping the cars alive is very hard because we never know who is getting into these cars. And a lot of people think that they're super experienced drivers, and at the end of the day, they are not. So I have my phone here. I'm going to pull up some of the cars that are in that retired section and kind of just give a little bit of history briefly to uh, what was going on with each of those cars. So here, we once upon a time had an Acura NSX. Uh, the Acura NSX, we bought in the cold. We bought it in like, I would say October, November of 2020, and it just wasn't good timing. Uh, when, when we're in New York and going into the winter and doing all that stuff like that, uh, sports cars aren't the cars to buy, just being honest with that one. So that car we actually sold, and then we took the money from that to buy the black and orange Huracan that you guys probably have seen on a lot of our socials. Um, next will be the Audi R8. Audi R8 is a good car for us. Um, that was the 2022 Performance Edition. That was a great car. I'm actually open to getting another R8 again. I feel like we have more clients that... Are a little bit bigger like me and who want to kind of get back into the r8 so the r8 was sold when the market went to the moon um honestly we sold a lot of cars when the market went up just to uh just create some space for the fleet and bring in some new stuff the audi r7 that was one of our original cars that we started blue street with when we were under a, actually a different name we weren't even called blue street back then uh that car is sitting in a lot somewhere total so we no longer have the audi r7 uh x6m the blue one Funny enough, we actually had a blue on red 2021. Um, that car was totaled very, very quickly. Then we had a blue on black 2020. That car we ended up selling when the market peaked. And currently at this moment, we have a 2022 matte black red interior with a, that one has down pipes and modified. So that's gonna be cool. We just, we actually just added that car very, very recently. Uh, Dodge Hellcat Red Eye, wow, that car, Brings back so many memories. That car has a lot of history of Blue Street. Um, wow, I, I can't even, I, I wish we could buy another one, but because Hellcats get stolen so much and crash so much, and you know, that 797 horsepower is just too much. So can't, um, I mean, wish we could buy another one, but in this current market, it just doesn't make sense. Uh, for our 48, we actually sold that car also. That car was part of the market being, you know, peaked and the market going up. So, uh, we did sell that car when the market went crazy. Um, the the GMC Yukon, we actually had a eight passenger Yukon. It was just a good car for people that want to go on long trips. That car just got sold. It didn't owe us anything. That car did a really amazing. Our red Trackhawk, this car was actually stolen, um, which is the reason why we don't buy them anymore. We also had a green one. That one was sold. But we will not do Trackhawks ever again because they get stolen like unbelievably. If you're ever bored, I did a video on this already about how they're not good cars for rentals, but don't buy a track hawk if you want to rent. Be careful if you buy one personally because they'll try to steal it too. This is our white Lamborghini Huracan. Sad. That one got totaled, sadly. Our black Huracan Spider. This car was sold. Um, just, you know, that car didn't owe us anything. Did a ton of rentals. Did, a, did, did an amazing job. Just had to go, you know, trying to get something new. This car didn't last that long. We had a C43 AMG. It probably lasted two months and it got totaled. Uh, same with our C63 AMG. Probably had that car for like a month and then it got totaled. Actually, no, no, sorry. That car got hit, repaired, and we ended up selling it. So that car did not get totaled. Wow, 
G63 AMG, this is 2016. Our original G-Wag, one of our original cars. That car probably has more rental days than any car we probably ever had. We had that car from 2019 all the way to 2022. Did an amazing job. It was just, you know, with the new body style that came out, it was just time to retire that car. So that car got sold. GLE 53 AMG had that car for probably three months and somebody got into the accident and it caught on fire and burned down. So we do not have that car anymore. Porsche 911 Turbo S Convertible. That car also got sold. Um, had a lot of miles on it. That was a really good car. Nothing bad to say about that one. It was just time for it to go. Toyota Supra. In 2020, when the Toyota Supra was MK5 was announced, we decided to take a risk and get something that was out of our realm. That was the first Toyota rental we ever bought and probably the only Toyota rental we will ever have. That was a fun car. Very, very, very fun car. It was a, it was a really uh, cheap price. I think we had it at $399 per day. And uh, people loved it. But when everybody started to buy them and they became much more acceptable, they started renting a lot less. So when the rental rates went down, we just got rid of it. And that is all that is on the list for retired cars. Hopefully, we don't have to put too many in back again because <laughs> retired normally means something bad happens. But yeah, we, we actually have a couple more cars that we're going to be getting rid of soon to bring in some more new cars. I know the S560 is going to be getting sold soon. So check us back very, very soon. Blue Street Exotics. I'm Alan signing out. See you guys next time.